Hey guys, it's Felix here. Welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna review for Final Fantasy IV Banner. Um, so this has just been released. Should you pull or not, of course. Um, so we've got five characters in this banner. Four in the summon pool, and one more is Awakening, Rosa. We got Kain, 5 star base, 6 star max. Young Redia, 5 star base, 6 star max. Yang, 4 star base, 6 star max. Edward, 3 star base, 5 star max. And also Rosa, 4 star base, 6 star max. Alright, we start with Kain first. What are his strength? He has innate Dragon Killer, plus 50% damage. He's got innate jump damage, plus 20 to 20%. Crazy, crazy stuff right here. And also, he's got one skill, 250% damage. <coughs> and also, it gives the respective elements to self and also minus 50% um, to their respective elemental resistance so they are wind, water and dark element and it, it is 11 hits so you can chain so this is a separate skill but I just combine them into one sentence here so you can choose uh, which one you want to chain, wind, water or dark right? and also he's got a 500% 7 hit chaining skill and it, it is 8 frames so um, he can chain with Fallen. It also gives you two dodge uh, in one turn. So it's like Fallen, uh, exactly the same I think. And he's got insane jump skill, guys. Six hundred percent, one hundred one thousand three hundred twenty percent when maxed for two turns. All right. So this is without. Um, I mean, like one thousand three hundred twenty percent is with his innate jump damage plus one two hundred twenty percent. So if you have like two of the ADS TM, which comes from the Bravely Default, the previous banner, you will get about 320% jump damage, which equals to equates to 1920% damage. And if I call if I calculated it in the course over three turns per turn, you will do about 640% damage. That's without Imperil. With Imperil, you will do about 900 plus percent, almost 900% damage. It's insane, all right? It's insane. Um, what are his weakness though? His highest jump skill, right? The highest modifier skill takes two turns to land. And it also, the jump is not fixed at the moment, but once it is fixed, of course, he'll be really, really awesome. You can chain with any knights. And he has also not enough um, status, abnormal immunity, only blind, right? Because uh, Confuse is very dangerous for a DPS. You can kill your entire party, man, with your one DPS, highly attack. Um, <coughs> he also got limit break, dragon pain 900%, 140% damage when maxed, which is one hit to single enemy. So it's a chain finisher move. His trash master is a dragon helm. Attack plus 40, defense plus 28. If you got Precious Helmet, this one is still inferior, but yeah, if you don't have Precious Helmet, then this will be a choice for you. All right, let's move on to the next one. We got Young Vidya. What are her strength? She has strong black magics, guys, and she can chain perfectly with Shantotone William. Why? Because she has Tornado, which is 250% and minus 50%. Uh, win elemental <laughs> and also quick which William has 270% and minus 50% earth elemental she has also a very strong innate summon 60% 10% stronger than Echo and Yuna she also can raise and heal all right and uh, <coughs> um, she has 1600% hybrid damage which depends on magical and spirit stats which consumes also your summon gutch, but not 100% of it. I think it's about 50% like Yuna, and also has a chance to petrify by 30%. So yeah, this girl, man, if you don't have, like, if you want to chain in the 12 legend weapon, uh, when you cannot bring any duplicate units, this is this girl, man, is the bomb, right, right there. Pretty much. What are our weakness though? Huge MP cost, obviously. The Quake and Tornado cost about 48 MP, so if you cast it twice, which you will most of the time, a, uh, you will spend about 90 plus MP, man, per turn. 96 MP. <laughs> so it's insane. It's an insane amount of MP cost, and she has no immunity to silence. All right, she's a Black Magician. Uh, her strength lies in Tornado and Quake. 
Yeah, so if she is silent, she'll be crippled. <coughs> Her limit break is Breath of Phantom Mist Dragon. Alright, so it's an AoE damage 1520% and also 2000% when maxed. It is also dependent on spirit and magic stats. And it is 40 hits, guys. So it's like CG Sakura's limit break, which can do about like 90 hits in a chain. Yeah, this will be amazing. So this this one will be 80 hits, I think. Uh, with her clone. <laughs> and also a trash master is pretty good. Summoner of pure blood, magic plus 40%, spirit plus 20%, and also esper damage plus 10% when summoned. So this TM is really perfect for Yuna and her, alright? Because they are dependent on magical and spirit sets uh, for damage of the summons. Alright, next up, we have Yang, 4 star base, 6 star max character. What are his strength though? He's able to use dual ability, right? Like Brave in the previous Bravely Default banner, but this one is better because you can use it every turn. So uh, he also masters 400% physical damage uh, scale, 6 hits you can chain. And also with dual ability can do 800% damage and also 12 hits per turn. All right, it's amazing. This is crazy. All right, 800%. Can you imagine that per turn? All right, and you can also chain as well with his clone. I think 24 chains, 12 hits, right? And also he has innate plus 220%. I mean, plus 200% attack when barehanded. And he also can equip sword, so this this guy is really good for beginners who doesn't have any weapon. And um, <coughs> of course, for advanced players, you can equip him with a sword and uh, equip those TMRs. You know, the Yi's TMR if you get a lot of them, and also uh, Leon's TMR. Oh no, he cannot use the heavy armor, so no. Yeah, Yi's TMR is the best for him because he's fragile and 20% uh, HP is pretty good. Well, his weakness though. It costs 90 MP for his 800% 12 hit skill, so it's very very high damaging, but also costs a lot of MP. <coughs> and also his limited equipment selection, he can only he equip head clothes, which means he's very fragile. But of course he can uh, equip a variety selections of weapons, which is not bad at all for weapon, um, for damage, um, yeah. His limit break is called Hapo Ranbu, it's an AoE damage, 600%, 840% when max, it is 12 hits, so you can chain it, of course, obviously. His stress master is Monks and Lightning, plus attack and defense when equipped with a fist, I don't know how many, but it should be good. And this one is good for him, of course, he can equip fist, Igon's fist, uh, yeah, comes to mind. Alright, um, next up, we have Edward, 3 star base, 5 star max. <laughs> so he's like a poor man's Ramza and Roy. What are his strength? He can buff attack magic plus 50% and debuff enemy attack magic by the same time in one song by 40%. So this is poor man's Ramza. I mean, uh, poor man's Roy. Buff attack magic defense spirit plus 40% as well as recover HP and MP. So this one is like a poor, man, poor man's Ramza because Ramza is one plus 100% insane. All right. And he has excellent trash master reward for a tank, which I will go through later below. His weakness though, he's a Pfizer max, uh, low stats, of course, very fragile. Uh, he'll be dead in a tough battles. Uh, he has low buff value, 40%, man. Come on. <coughs> but his awakening will be amazing, right? His 6-star awakening. I bet he'll be better than that. So, uh, yeah. He's a good choice to have Ramza later on when he's awakened. And so his limit break <laughs> is Palin Song. It increases all stats by 54, 55%. 74% when maxed and it recovers HP and MP for 3 turns. Amazing. Alright, his limit break is pretty good actually. It's close to Ramza. His stress master though, guys. This one is amazing. Fist new fast. Defense plus 36, spear plus 36, plus 15% MP. Increase 25% to fire, ice, lightning, holy and dark elemental. So it's crazy stuff right here. So this one is really, really good. Alright, for defensive purposes. Alright, um... Next up, we'll go. We'll go to the last but not least, right? Rosa, four star base, six star maze awakening. What are strength? She can remove status debuffs from all uh, from allies. Okay, one per turn. Uh, you can only debuff like uh, remove debuffs like maybe one defensive uh, defense debuff or one attack debuff right there. So that's the weakness right there. But it's pretty good, you know. Echo besides her 
There's only Echo, which is Pfizer base, can do that. So she's the alternative of Echo. <laughs> and she can also recover HP and also MP plus 10 per turn for 3 turns. So it's 30 MP total, which, which is not bad at all. Um, she mastered Dispel Guy and also Full Race, which is pretty good. What are the weakness though? No dual white magic. So you cannot dual cast all of, the, all of those. But if you have Sheraton's weapon, and also if you purchase dual cast from the previous uh, King Mock shop, yeah, you can use dual cast, of course. Um, only cost about 15,000 currency, if I remember correctly. But if you got Ayaka, CG Fina, which is pretty common nowadays, and also Yuna, yeah, this girl will be uh, irrelevant. And also, no re-race. Yeah, so that's her weakness. Um, limit break wise, she's pretty good. Baron's Miracle, recover HP plus 76%. Uh, 100% when maxed, MP 20%, 44% when maxed. Her Trash Master is called Goddess Bow, attack plus 90, spirit plus 40, and also it grants you bird killer. So it's pretty good. Alright, uh, so should you pull or not? This banner? Uh, it, it depends. If you want a, a really good magician, young like Young Redia, alright? This one, this girl, that can chain well with uh, William and also Shantoto, especially in the 12 legendary weapon battles. Which you cannot where where you cannot bring duplicate units. Of course, this girl man is the bomb, it's the price for you. Also, if you want to invest in future amazing finisher, a jump damager, which will be fixed later on, I think soon enough. Of course, you would want to pull for him because he will be insane, alright? 640% damage, guys, without imperil per turn. So in the third turn, once he lands and you chain, boom! That's it, man. The freaking boss will die. I don't know how many damage will do. It will be insane amount of damage. Crazy, su crazy stuff right there. And his TMR is also pretty good. Um, and if you're a beginner, right? You just started this game. You want to pull for Yang because he's got 800% and 12 hits um, ability, which is crazy, insane. 12 hits, guys. So you can chain 24 chains. It's also, it's also without imperil. All right. So if you imperil it, it'll be, it'll be even better, bro. Crazy stuff right there, right? Uh, he can equip sword, so you can equip an elemental sword. And also, there's a holy feast that you get from previous uh, event. You can also use that. Yeah, pretty much. And um, of course, Edward, uh, maybe save him for future enhance uh, awakening. And uh, I would want his stress master, of course. His stress master is amazing. So yeah, it, uh, all in all, I would want to pull for this banner, but not crazy. Maybe just a few tickets here and there, you know, my all 10 tickets, I'll spend it all and probably a 1-5k Lapis pool. Yeah. So, I think I'll conclude this video here. Um, I wish you guys luck in pulling. I'll see you guys next video. As always, here Felix. Peace out.